Hey everyone, welcome. Hey everyone. Today we're going to have a look on this device, and it's the VioTrack Fimble 2. Yeah, it's a, it's a gimbal, uh, as, as the name suggests. Basically, we're going to have a look if, if this device, uh, for its price, is worth the money. Yeah. And, um, yeah. What you paid for it? Um, I paid uh, 82 euros for it. It's uh, very so cheap for, for it's, a gimbal. It's very cheap, yeah. yeah. It's, I think it's about 95 uh, US dollars if you um, count it in dollars. Yeah. But it's, it's very cheap. Yeah. Okay, for the people who don't know what a gimbal is. It's uh, um, basically a device uh, to put your phone in. At least this one is for, for uh, phones. Yeah, mobile um, phones. Mobile phones to um, stabilize the image. Uh, so if you take a video, uh, you're walking with it or you're rotating a lot, uh, for example, you can stabilize the image uh, to get all the stuttering and, and wobbling out of the image. You get a smooth pro-like video. Yeah, nice. exactly. Well, let's, uh, let's unbox it and yeah, let's, let's see it. what you get for your money. Let's get it out of the box. Uh, first of all, if you look, take a look at the back, uh, this one comes in three colors, uh, black, white and uh, pink. Yeah. So which one did you get? I got the black one. But you can take uh, any color you'd like yeah. out of those three. Oh, okay. Put the box aside. So it comes in a very sleek uh, carrying case. Check nice case, handle. Yeah. Nice. It's very, uh, very solid. Yeah. So the box looks good. It looks already. good. Yeah. And there we have the uh, Vimble. Yeah. And so, some other stuff, I see. And some other stuff. Yeah. Uh, so before we get to the Vimbo, let's take a look at the accessories first. Okay. There's a compartment here with some uh, books in it. So these are basically the uh, manuals. Next here we've got a little black box. And this, block, this box has the tripod in it. So it's a tripod. You it's can a just standard screw mount. Yeah, it's a standard screw mount, so you can attach any any type of tripod or mount to um, to the uh, gimbal. Next, we have a wrist strap. If you get too excited with your gimbal, <laughs> yeah, to prevent uh, dropping it, it's basically a standard uh, wrist strap, so you can attach it to the bottom side of the of the gimbal. Yeah. Then here we've got charging cables. These are basically charging cables for uh, for your phone. Yeah. So let's have a look at the gimbal so first now, because then I'll show you. For your me. phone, so you can charge your phone yeah. while using the Vimble. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The the Vimble has uh, a charging port on the on the side here, which is just a, a micro USB. Yeah. And you can basically take one of these cables, whichever phone you have. So this one is a lighting connector for iPhone. Yeah. Uh, you can just connect this one to, to the port here, like that. And then this one goes into your phone. Yeah. All right. So if we take a look at the uh, Vimble itself, we have on this side is the USB charge port. Yeah. It's right there. Then uh, we've got the uh, control stick. Uh, you can use this to- A little joystick yeah, thingy. Yeah, you can use that to, to, to rotate the, uh, the Vimble or bend it up and down. Yeah, um, the basic control. Basic controls, yeah, to get a, a smooth motion. Yeah. We've got um, the power button to turn it on. And it's also a function uh, button, so you can you've got multiple uh, shortcuts for yeah. the device to um, you know uh, center it back to, to the original position okay. and stuff like that. Um, underneath that is the uh, record button to record video and to take photos. Yeah. Then on this side we've got a little uh, stick, a, a little button that you can push up and down. For zooming. Zoom in. Yeah. Zoom in and zoom out. Um, all of this. At least the, the the zoom function only works with the uh, Vimble app. Okay. It doesn't work with the the it's standard camera. Yeah. It doesn't work with the standard camera app. Only the Vimble app. Also with Android, you tested it with an iPhone. With an iPhone only. Uh, I don't know about Android. I don't have an Android no. phone, okay. so I can't really try that out. Uh, so from what you've tested, 
Yeah. That function is only available if you use the app from Fimble or from exactly because only the Feu Tech. Yeah, because exactly. Yeah. And then on the back we've got uh, a trigger. Uh, this trigger is basically used to um, lock the position of the gimbal, so that if you're moving around, you can just uh, hold the trigger and it will keep it in that position and focused on that object. Yeah. Even if you move left and right, it will stay uh, right there. Okay, so um, next we've got the phone mount. Um, it's very easy to rotate this one to from landscape to um, portrait. portrait mode. Yeah. Um, it's very high quality, it feels decent, it feels soft. It has some very soft paddings in there. Phone goes in just like that. It has a really good grip on your phone. And, and it, it won't yeah. damage it. And so. it won't damage it, no. no it's it's yeah. protected everywhere, so it has a really good grip. Another cool feature of this uh, gimbal is that it has a extractable uh, arm. <laughs> so you can use it as, um, well they, they advertise it as like a, a selfie function. I think it, yeah, it, I think it can be really um, useful. Really useful, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, it, it doesn't really um, obstruct you know, the the function of the gimbal in in any way. It's it's well hidden inside the gimbal. I'm kind of surprised it just keeps standing. Yeah, it doesn't fall over or anything. No, no. Hmm. But I think it's it's a really cool feature. You can you can use it. You know, if, if you if you got it on on like a tripod and yeah. you need some a bit more height. You can use this to to add a bit more height to it if the tripod can go any higher That's for true. example yeah instead of brakes so i want to talk spec wise yeah let's the specification of this device mm -hmm. it's a bit heavy it weighs 428 grams so almost half a kilogram yeah, that's uh, compared to other gimbals, it is it is a bit heavy. Yeah. Uh, probably due to uh, the extractable function because it adds a bit more, um, you know, a, a bit more material in the gimbal itself. Yeah. Uh, so the operation time of this gimbal is uh, between five and ten hours, according to the specs of the company itself. Okay. Uh, the charging time is one hour, from what I've tested. I used uh, a power brick, yeah, uh, which has a, a charging capacity of uh, two point one. Uh, amps yeah. on 5 volt. Okay. Uh, yeah, and that, that took it one hour to, uh, to fully charge. Um, the size of phones that you can use this for, that you can fit in the, in the mount, is between uh, 4 inch and 5.5 inch. Yeah. So it's, it's quite a good range of um, So basically of every iPhone? Yeah, basically. And, yeah. and most, d most, most Samsung Android. smartphones or yeah. anything in between, really. Yeah, for example, if, if you take something like a, a Galaxy Note, uh, that probably won't fit in here because yeah, they're I bigger than 5.5. And the uh, extractable arm goes uh -huh. from 0 to 18 centimeters. centimeters. Yeah. yeah. So that's the extension you get with the extractable arm. Exactly. And last, it has a free access gyro and it has a maximum range of 320 uh, degrees on all axes. Uh, so it doesn't go 360 all the way around. You can get some dead spots. You can get some dead spots, yeah. yeah. There are um, gimbals that do 360 all the way around. Uh, so if you want to make 360 shots of, uh, you know, like an uh, environment or nature or something, you can't really do that with this gimbal. So you've tested this gimbal? Mm-hmm, yeah. It, it Okay, it looks cool. It looks, yeah, it looks nice. It looks cool, but how does it work? Um, how does the app work? I've tested it, of course, and it works quite well. Uh, but it works well with the standard iPhone camera app. That's a bit strange. Yeah, the Vimble app is uh, fine to use if you do like 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 uh, still shots of something uh, like an object or like a 360 uh, view or something. But if you um, want to do moving uh, captures, uh, like running with it or yeah. walking with it or stuff like that, I would suggest to use the standard iPhone app. Because, because the, the image stabilization isn't that good? or No, it isn't that great on, on, it, on itself. You made um, some shots, let's have a look at them right now. Yeah. You so did some exercising outside in the park. Yeah. Indeed. And you took the gimbal with you. I took the gimbal with me. Okay, so here we have the first video. Yeah. And this is with or without the gimbal, what uh, we're looking at right now. The first is without the gimbal. Yeah. So it's uh, from steady hand, uh, trying to hold my hand as steady as possible. Uh, the first video that you see now is with the standard iPhone uh, camera app. Okay. This is the second video. 
Yeah, the second is uh, also without the gimbal, but with the uh, Vimble app. So it's the app terrible. That it's, it's horrible. Yeah, it's it's, it's all over the place. It's even worse than with without the gimbal. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's all over the place, and it's uh, <laughs> it's basically uh, yeah. I don't know. Unusable. Yeah. No. It yeah. doesn't add any value to your video. And it here we have the, the the third video. Yeah, the third is with the gimbal. This looks really cool. And this is indeed with the camera. It's like uh, it's on a, on, a, on a camera reel or something. You okay, okay, you can see now you are, are running, but... Yeah, it, it is quite smooth. It's quite it's, steady. It's, it's very steady, it's very yeah. smooth. Uh, I didn't expect it for this price to be working this fine. Because no. it, is, it is very very stable. Um, and the last video we see now is um, also with the gimbal, but with the uh, Vimbal app again. And yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it, it is a lot more steady than when you're shooting from hand. Uh, but you can see uh, that this camera app doesn't use the built-in stabilization no. of the iPhone. Um, and it's, it's visible. If you combine those two together, so you use the, the iPhone app uh, on its own with the gimbal, and you've got the uh, stabilization of the gimbal itself yeah. and the iPhone, yeah. and that combined creates a very smooth image. This is really cool. Um, and I'm quite curious on the functions of the gimbal app, because you mentioned it had uh, a bit of a learning curve. If you're good at Mortal Kombat, you can operate this device. Yeah, yeah. If you want to uh, get good quality videos out of it. Yeah. Let's have a look at them right now. Mm -hmm. And I will record it so you can yeah, tell a bit about the features of the, of the app and yeah. the functionalities. Yeah, all right. Okay. So first thing you want to do before using this device is uh, put in your phone. So of course put it in like this and slide it all the way down. Make sure it's firm, firmly in there. And as you can see now, my uh, my gimbal is completely uh, out of balance. So we, we want to balance it first. So there's a slider here that you can pull out to make sure it's in balance. So just make sure that your phone stays uh, uh, stays horizontal and of course it's not doing that right now so what you want to do if you can't really get it right with this just move your phone to the left a little bit and it's a little bit to the left again so a little bit back and now it stays horizontal um, you, well, you want to do this before turning the device on because else you can uh, damage the device because it's out of balance so now to turn it on, we press the button and it turns itself on. Um, so now some basic functions of, uh, of this gimbal um, is of course the motion. So as you can see, if I move my wrist, the camera moves with it. And if I hold the trigger, it stays in that position. So it doesn't move anywhere else it just stays like that um, it also has a, a vertical shooting mode uh, you can activate that by holding the trigger and pressing the uh, function button one time and it will automatically switch to vertical mode to switch back just press the trigger twice and it will go back horizontally so there are some basic um, motion controls of uh, of this uh, gimbal uh, which are quite handy in certain uh, shooting scenarios. Okay, so uh, let's have a look at the app uh, made by um, Videotech. It's called a v -Cool. that's their app. It's available from the App Store. As you can see now, it's asking me to uh, search for the gimbal. So if you press search, it will show the gimbal and we can press it and now it's connected. Um, so in this uh, mode, you can basically uh, you've got it connected to the uh, gimbal now via Bluetooth. Uh, so now you can use the triggers for zooming to zoom in and out. Um, you can use the buttons to pan the video, but that's basically available without Bluetooth as well, because that's just a function of the gimbal, as you can see. Um, there are some options uh, at the bottom here for um, you know the main uh, settings like white balance, ISO uh, values and stuff like that. Um, we've got it set on video now, uh, so video recording. Up here you can select the video quality. 
So this ranges from 720p at 30 fps up to 4K at 60 fps. You can set it to whatever you like. And we've got, uh, let's see, up here we've got the um, battery values. So the battery of the gimbal is uh, fully charged and the battery of the iPhone is on 70% around that. Um, so you can make uh, the normal videos, you can make time-lapse videos and slow-mo videos as well. And of course standard photos or here a panorama video. Up here we've got a selector to switch from uh, from lock mode so it doesn't move at all. Uh, 320 so it's um, only rotating uh, horizontally and full follow mode and full follow mode means it can rotate horizontally and vertically in any direction and it does that automatically. Underneath that we've got uh, the uh, flash so you can set it to always light which basically means the flash is always on and open which is basically uh, it flashes when you take a photo. Down here we've got options for uh, face follow and object follow so you can enable this to have face tracking so it will follow you if you are standing in front of the camera um, and it would just rotate with you and objects you can select an object in the field of view um, so it will follow that object around whenever it's moving. Next we've got some settings over here basically camera settings these are just your standard camera settings for image quality camera control zoom speed stuff like that not much interesting and gimbal settings here you can set the motor strength of every uh, motor the gimbal has basically you want to uh, adjust this uh, according to the phone that's in your gimbal if it's a heavy phone then you want to uh, set the uh, motors higher if it's a light phone you want to set them a little bit lower because otherwise uh, the gimbal can shake on its own uh, and stuff like that because the motors are set to aggressive here we've got a shooting scene, so here you can select the scene in which um, you're shooting at that time. Uh, so normal mode, smooth mode and motion mode if you're moving around a lot. And we've got the uh, rocker settings. Uh, so this is uh, motion control of the gimbal. Um, it's basically if you move, if you are moving your arm around uh, or your, your wrist around, it will follow your movement. Uh, according to that and you can set the speed for that in here and that's uh, about it this is the auto rotation mode uh, that's what we what we were talking about in the, earlier in the video um, here you can set parameters to automatically make the gimbal rotate if you want to make like a time lapse of uh, an environment like uh, nature or whatever you can set it up in here we're just going to try uh, face tracking right now and see how that works. So Booby Trap has taken his seat in front of the gimbal. Yes. We're going to have a look. We're going to select a face follow and then select his face. And now it's locked onto him. So as soon as he moves around, you can see the gimbal follows him accordingly on his movement. Now there are gimbals that um, uh, that I know of that do this a little bit more responsive, a little bit quicker. Uh, this gimbal is a bit slower in his movement. But that works really well. But it works quite well. Um, the only thing is that if you uh, move all the way to the to the side, ah, it, it's still it's somewhat still uh, locking onto you. But okay. I have to press it again to focus back. Yeah. But indeed, if you move out of frame too quickly. It will lose your face and it will stop following. So if you, yeah. yeah. Okay. So if you go down really quick now, and it still it still has you now. Okay. But if you go all the way to the right, and now it's gone. Yeah. So yeah, now it, it just stops following. It just goes into like a, a yeah, whatever mode, and uh, yeah. that's it. Okay. Um, and now it's back. Yeah. So um, that's the 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 face uh, follow mode. And it works. It works quite well. It works well enough if you're just, you know, like making a, a video of yourself, uh, stuff like that, and you wanted to follow around a bit. 
it's smooth, it, it works well. So that's basically the, um, the app uh, and what it can do. So, the Fimble 2, what do you think of it? Um, it's a good product, yeah. it works really well. Uh, it takes some very smooth, uh, smooth images and, and videos. Um, there's one complaint I have about uh, the, the app of uh, Vimble. Okay. And uh, basically, it's you know the, the video quality of the, the app itself isn't really that great. No. It's because of the, uh, the shaky image and yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because it's missing the the image stabilization of the iPhone itself. Yeah. Um, they aren't really allowed to to use that because Apple has that somewhat closed off. Yeah. And. Um, it drains the battery of the iPhone really fast. That's why they included the charge cable. Yeah, the charge, yeah, to charge your phone because. Uh, but then you would drain the the Vimble as well, so you would end up, you know. It will be done quickly. Then, yeah, indeed, <laughs> <Okay>. indeed. <laughs> um, so yeah, overall, I think it's it's a really good product. Yeah. Um, I like it for the price you paid for it. Yeah, for the price, it's uh, it's it's good quality. Uh, works. It, it does what it should do. So uh, yeah. So we're gonna leave the video at this. If you have any comments, please leave them down in the comment section. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.